Gemini has a new feature that lets you create an infographic quite easily, but unfortunately, this feature is kinda limited. I mean, you cannot download this beautiful infographic as a picture like JPEG or PNG, which is the most common format for an infographic picture. But I found a workaround to get this interactive infographic as a picture using various tools. And it's actually a bit more challenging than I thought, but I promise you that if you are following the tutorial in this video, you can create a beautiful infographic from a document or from any topic using Gemini and then download that infographic as a picture just like this one. So let me show you how you can do it. First, let's go to gemini.google.com and then log in with your account. And here, I'll try to convert these pieces of information into an infographic. So I created this bullet points using perplexity ai and it's just actually some fun facts and numbers about google gemini ai and i'm going to create an infographic website from that document so i'm going to just drag and draw the file right here and here i'm going to be using this ai prompt so i'm going to provide the full prompt in the video description don't worry about that now let me just paste it right here so this is the prompt and now make sure to enable the canvas mode oh yeah i forgot to mention that you can use any ai model on gemini at the moment and right now i'm gonna go with the 2.5 pro but feel free to use whatever model that is available on your account now after that you can send a message and just wait for gemini to create the infographic from the document or from the topic that you might have provided so this process can take quite a while depending on the length of the document and also the intricate details of the design but usually it will be done in about one or two minutes so it is still thinking and now it's generating the code so again it is technically an html page so we need to convert that into a jpeg or png format which is again the most common format for sharing infographic this is but that's the only format you can upload as a picture to social media like Facebook, Instagram, X, and many others. And uh, unfortunately, I'm using Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is right now is the smartest model, but it's not the fastest. So if you may be watching this video in the far future, there could be a faster and better model. So feel free to use that model. Okay, there you go. So it is now done. So this is the beautiful infographic that was created by gemini it looks pretty well in my opinion maybe there are some problems like this icon is missing but let's pretend that this infographic is perfect and by the way if you want to make some adjustments you can always ask gemini to change various things from the design you can just prompt it tell ai about what's what's wrong or, or what other approaches or design that you want to use but anyway again let's pretend that it is perfect and now we need to download this as a picture so let's just click share and then we're going to copy the link so you have to click this let's open a new page and right click paste and go to that url so right now we want to preview the document on a full page first and then later uh, we can download it as a picture which is again a bit challenging so this is what the page look like and don't worry there is a way to adjust the aspect ratio now you might be asking can we just use a Chrome extension? There are many Chrome extensions that lets you uh, take a screenshot of the full page so you can get this website design as an infographic picture. Unfortunately, it doesn't work because what you're seeing right now is actually a preview of a preview or a website within a website. So notice that there is this area at the top and this area at the bottom. It is a frame. So it is not going to work if you're using a full screenshot Chrome extension. It doesn't work for, for some reason. So it doesn't work and I have tried so many methods, it doesn't work. So instead, I do recommend you to use this alternative method. Now let's close this. And I wanted to click code and you have to select all the codes. Uh, you can press Ctrl A or Command A on the keyboard and then you can copy the full code. Now we got the full code, the full HTML code of this page and we need to preview it. I do recommend to use this website called codebeautify.org slash HTML viewer. And again, I'm going to put the link in the video description. And here, let me just right click and then paste it. Okay, this that's the preview. That's really good. Let's click this button to preview it full screen. And now, basically, we can start uh, taking screenshot of this page. But again, you cannot use some random Chrome extension out there to take a screenshot of the full page 
again, it still doesn't work. So uh, one tool that I found to be working reliably is a tool called PicPic. It is free and you can download it to your computer and it allows you to take a screenshot of any page from the browser and the result is much, much better. So after that, you can download and install it on your computer. Again, it is free and I'll put the link in the video description. And then you can open it and you can start taking a screenshot of this page. But first, I'm going to reduce the size of this page or this browser window. And I think this is the most appropriate dimension or the, uh, the most appropriate width of an infographic. And now I'm going to open the PicPic app on my computer. Okay, let's select scrolling window. And then click this area. Okay, it doesn't work. Okay, let me try it again. So uh, there could be a problem because maybe I'm, I'm still, you know, making a video at the same time. Okay, so you have to use... Okay, it, it seems to be not working because maybe I'm recording a video. So I cannot take a screenshot and recording a video at the same time. Okay, it doesn't work. So I guess I'm going to pause the video or maybe I'm going to do something else so I can get the screenshot of this page. Okay, after some trials and error, this is the result that I got. I'm going to open it in a, in a full screen. So this is the infographic that I just created using Gemini. And yeah, sorry, I cannot show you the process of taking the screenshot because apparently it doesn't, uh, my recording software doesn't allow me to take a screenshot and recording at the same time. But basically you just need to click the scrolling window and then select the page and then just let the, the tool to take a screenshot of the, full, of the full page. Do not press anything, do not move your cursor, do not click anything, just leave it alone until it's finished. And it's usually done in just a few seconds. So yeah, that was how you can do it. And of course, there's a picture. You can save it to your computer. You can, you know, select JPEG, PNG, and many other image format. And so that's basically how you can create a beautiful infographic using Gemini AI, as well as how you can download it. And if you find this video to be useful, then feel free to subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.